So for this next section, take a look at this instrument that comes in in the middle. Let me uh, just solo the grammarly part. To read. It undermines the writer's message and the word choice. There's a little arpeggiated synth that goes on in there. It's this fast moving eighth note synth. This is bland. Grammarly's what cutting a, a, edge a, technology a, 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 helps you craft da, 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 compelling, that understandable. Thing. So after that comes writing. A little that lead. Makes an impact on your reader. Da, 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 Much da, da, better. Da, da, da. Are you ready to give it a try? Those little embellishments are going to come in in those last, uh, in the section two and in section three. There's also a little filter sweep going through the keyboard part here. It's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. We know how to do a filter sweep. So in order for me to show you how this arpeggiator thing works, I'm going to turn on the arpeggiator. That's this little button on your keyboard. And what it does is it plays a note over and over for you like this. You can choose the settings too. It can play multiple notes. So um, notice that I moved down the uh, or I moved the octave up so that I could fit the high octave keys in the frame. I'm actually playing <clears throat> the notes down there, but since I moved it up the octave, those notes sound higher than they actually are. So that's just to keep you in the frame. With your arpeggiator off, the notes just ring out. With your arpeggiator on, it's going to play the rate that I tell it to play, which is written here, and it's going to play the type of arpeggiator that I, that I have right here. So right now, mine is going up and down. If I want to hit shift, I can hit down, and it'll only play down. Or it'll play up, shift, up. I could have it be random, shift, random. These are a lot of fun. So I'm going to go back to my up and down. And the chords I'm going to play are the same as the bridge chords, except I'm not going to play three note voicings. I'm going to play four note voicings. So, and again, you can do what you want. I'm just going to add an embellishment. So the chord progression was D to B minor. I'm going to move one note. The next chord was E minor. So I'm going to move everything over. Then I'm going to go back to G. I'm going to move the outer two notes back to D. And I'm going to record that just like this. Back here, I'm going to mute my uh, reference track and I'm going to start recording right from there. So here we go, starting on D. There's my little arpeggiated part. It's all done. Go back and listen to it. Great. So now I'm going to turn the arpeggiator off. And I'm going to play this melody that they have up here in the Grammarly commercial. Check it out. That makes an impact on your reader. Much better. So it's something like, um, so I'm going to record that. I'm going to turn off the reference track and hit record. I think I got it. So now all that's left is to add the filter sweep. I'm going to go into instrument number three here. This is the chords part. I'm going to effects and I'm going to add an effect. Now we've done this before in our uh, base project. We went in here, we grabbed the multi filter and we brought the cue up to the point that sounded kind of interesting. And let's play with that frequency. So all I have to do now is just automate that, that curve there. So automation, find the uh, frequency, and then draw a few shapes. Let's bring it up.
and let's see what we have. And then we'll turn off our automation. And we have to mix everything. We have to make sure that these levels are, are equal. So I'm going to listen back to the whole thing and see what needs to be louder and what needs to be softer. Let's have a listen. So I'm thinking the keyboard is a little loud. That's definitely too loud. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to do a little panning. I'm going to bring that over to the side, this over to the other side, and keep everything else in the middle. Great. Now all that's left to do is the voiceover.